All right, guys, I've got 30 minutes of battery power left in my camera. I don't have the time to charge it because I still need to go to bed in time to be up for work in the morning. So, <laughs> yeah. Project Luminous. I'm crazy excited for this publishing initiative. This was announced last week on Monday, I believe, which would be one week from the time that you guys are seeing this video, if you're watching it on Day of Publishing. And it's exactly what I've been hoping for, for the most part. Um, I do have some trepidations on exactly when it is. I feel like 200 years might be a tiny bit too close to the Skywalker saga for me to feel like it's going to be disconnected enough. Um, as you guys know, for years I've been saying that I want new stuff. I want new Star Wars. I want completely new characters, completely new settings. I want different everything. I want us to step away from the nostalgia of the original trilogy. I want us to step away from the pre from I'm a prequel kid. I want us to step away from the prequel nostalgia. Uh, we can service sequel trilogy, sequel trilogy nostalgia in a few years, <laughs> but I just want non Skywalker saga centric stuff. That's what I'm hoping for. And that's what I'm really hoping we're going to get with project luminous 200 years. I was really hoping that the 400 year mark would have, that was rumored would uh, have been the case, but that's okay. Either way, it is an all-star cast of authors and writers. Um, you've got Daniel Jose Older who did Last Shot. Charles Soule has done some incredible comics. And uh, I know that his full-length novels have been very well received. Uh, his non-Star Wars novels. Claudia Gray is the queen of new Star Wars publishing, in my opinion, and in many fans' opinions, as far as my anecdotal evidence shows. And Kevin Scott, who did Dooku Jedi Lost. It's uh, Justina Ireland, who did probably one of my favorite of the middle grade novels and the young reader stuff. It's, it's A-plus cast, uh, not casting, but A-plus work from the publishers and Lucasfilm to decide exactly who's going to be working on these stories. Now, as for the actual setting itself, it's exactly what I wanted. It is hopefully something completely new, new characters, completely different villains. We're not talking about Jedi versus Sith. We're talking about Jedi versus whoever the heck these Nile people are, uh, these space Vikings, these punk rock space Vikings, which, yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> and it all kicks off with the great disaster. And the creative process was really kicked off, allegedly, uh, by Kevin Scott, who asked the question, what make, or what are the Jedi afraid of? What scares the Jedi? That, <laughs> that's a very interesting thing. Is it losing their power? Is it lack of mobility? Because apparently the Nile people do hyperspace in a weird way. Do they mess up all the hyperspace lanes? It's, it's a real fascinating idea and a real fascinating sort of setting. Now, with that being said, I did post a tweet asking some of you guys for your thoughts, your opinions, your hype. What are you excited for? What do you think is going to come from? And you guys gave some great answers. I've got two of them here. First one is from Chris, Star Raptor, fantastic content creator over here on YouTube. Um, does all sorts of things, pop culture. Uh, met him at Celebration. I did a video with him on... Um, uh, Jedi Fallen Order back when they uh, did the whole launch reveal thing at Celebration early last year. A plus fan. And he said, uh, The High Republic is the kind of storytelling that I've been waiting for since Disney bought Lucasfilm. I'm excited to see the original stories that the writers can create now that they have the freedom to explore an era that has never been touched before. Yeah. Yeah. As much as I am trepidatious about the 200 years, I feel like that's not quite far enough. It is nowhere near anything <laughs> that has ever even been touched on in canon at all because Rebels even touched on the Mandalorian Jedi stuff. The Mandalorian touched on that as well, that there was a thing and there's this Tar Vizsla guy and his dark saber and whatever. And then you've got um, the prequels talking about a thousand years ago when the Sith Empire fell or something. Um, 
and that's the birth of the, the Republic that we knew in the prequels. This is something completely new. And that's exactly what I'm excited for. And I totally agree with you, Chris, on that. Next up, we've got the king of all toms, absolute podcasting royalty, even though that he doesn't have his own podcast, but he writes in and is a contributor on multiple Patreon shows and uh, side shows uh, for people like Steel Wars and Blue Harvest and Bad Motivators and uh, Sith List. And actually, I think he might be a full host on Sith List, maybe. Ooh. Actually, I haven't gotten caught up on Sith List in quite a while, so sorry, Tom. Anyways, a uh, fantastic Star Wars fan, though, and a huge fan of the publishing. He said, uh, there's a lot that I'd love to see, especially interconnected stories. I do hope that the Jedi are different uh, than we see them in the prequels, especially in terms of allowing romantic relationships, more swashbuckling, but still remaining anti-war. Yeah. So there's two bits in there that I want to touch on, Tom. There's a lot of what to see, especially interconnecting stories. And that's something that I've got really excited about, is the fact that these authors not only are incredibly talented creators, they are also working together. They are constantly talking about their group chats and their Skype calls and their, um, their text chains and them getting together at conventions and at, uh, that, you know, that video that they released over on StarWars.com are over on the Star Wars YouTube channel where they're just standing around a table or sitting around a table and they've got this big whiteboard with all these ideas and blue sky talk and getting interconnected stories has got me real excited and gets me really ready to get into those comics because while I'm not as big into the comics as I want to be, this is more motivation for me to go, Ooh, but wait, what about if this character from Charles Sewell's novel is going to talk about stuff in uh, Daniel Jose Older's comic series, right? That is the kind of stuff that I'm really ready to see. The other thing that Tom mentioned was uh, the, the differences in the Jedi. What are they going to be in terms of how do they operate with each other? Um, how do they connect with themselves? How do they connect with um, the outside world, the political world, the societal, uh, the society that they're in? Are they part of the society? Are they as interconnected as they are in the prequels? I'm definitely hoping for something different, just like Tom is. Um, I'm real, real ready to get maybe a slightly more perfected Jedi Order, something like what maybe Rey ends up building uh, post Rise of Skywalker that not necessarily that it's not so locked down into that rigidity into that you are too old even though that you're only nine yeah <laughs> and no you don't get to have love interests you can you can have partners but you can't have any emotional attachments to anybody including your own people your own um whether that be your blood family whether that be um a romantic interest, whether that be even your own master or your own Padawan, you need to always be completely insulated from that. You should be compassionate, but you're not allowed to have, feel things for people. And I'm definitely hoping that they go that way. I'm guessing that that's the way they're going to end up going, but we'll see. I have high hopes for whatever these creatives end up giving us. And just to close out this video, this is only phase one. The StarWars.com article says phase one is, you know, these two comic series, this middle grade novel, this young adult novel, and this adult novel. Cool. <laughs> it's got me hyped up. It's got me ready. Either way, let me know what you guys think about Project Luminous, The High Republic, down in the comments down below. And be sure to check out the podcast. I got that linked in the description down below. I do that every Monday, uh, much more consistently than I do these YouTube videos. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, as always, may the Force be with you guys. Take care.